Former Raiders head coach John Gruden is striking back against the NFL. Over the weekend, in some court filings, John Gruden said a couple things about the NFL. We're going to break down everything that was said in these findings and get you ready for the showdown April 13th. John Gruden called the idea of moving this lawsuit into arbitration completely unconscionable. He also said that the NFL looks foolish right now for the statements they made against him in light of recent revelations. What are those revelations? The Brian Flores lawsuit, which alleges that the NFL engages in racist hiring practices. John Gruden is basically saying, you're going to call me a racist when you yourself, by hearing out this Brian Flores lawsuit, are admitting that racist practices happen in the NFL. So obviously your reason for canceling Gruden goes beyond racism if racist practices and if racist hiring practices are rampant in the NFL. Why just Gruden? Why not all these other people? Hey, why not cancel the owner of the Dolphins who paid Brian Flores to tank? The NFL lawyers wrote that they had an existing right to cancel Gruden's contract because society at large has canceled him due to his racism, his sexism, and his homophobia. And that the NFL is really adamant about getting rid of racism, homophobia, and sexism in the NFL. And Gruden and his legal team has to put the NFL back on track. They're saying this is not about how Gruden makes the NFL look bad, no. Instead, this case is about the NFL and their selective leaking of John Gruden's emails in the Washington football team investigation. This is about the hit job. This is about them making threats to John Gruden that if he did not resign, they would release more emails. And the NFL is doing everything they can to distract from that point. They're trying to throw racism, sexism, and try to act like social justice heroes because they don't want to talk about the sketchy shit they did. The sketchy shit that's being alleged by John Gruden, which is that the NFL, Roger Goodell, and all the high ups in there orchestrated a campaign to selectively target John Gruden and the Washington football team investigation. No emails were leaked by anybody else. The only emails out of 650,000 emails, the only ones were four ones, four emails reported by the New York Times and the Washington Post that make Gruden look bad. And there are four emails, not even the full text. We still have never even seen the full text of any of these emails where Gruden says his offensive comments. All we have are the reports by the New York Times, reports by Washington Post on what they've seen. What they've seen. Oh, who showed them that? Oh, who showed Washington Post and the New York Times these emails? Well, they, they can't say it. They got to keep it anonymous. But it's bullshit because we all know it's the NFL and Roger Goodell. And that's why John Gruden is filing this lawsuit. When the NFL put out their motion to dismiss this this lawsuit to dismiss John Gruden's lawsuit. It was in January of this year, and Gruden says their claims back then, which is that they had every right to get rid of Gruden because of his racism, sexism, oh my God. Gruden is saying that looks foolish now in light of the Brian Flores revelations, right? Brian Flores puts out this lawsuit, so that the NFL is engaged in racist hiring practices, and Hugh Jackson backed him up, and they're alleging that there's racist hiring practices in the NFL that they were paid to tank. I don't think getting paid to tank is exclusive with certain ethnicities. However, Gruden is going to use this lawsuit to his advantage. He's going to say, hey, you're going to agree and be sympathetic to Brian Flores' lawsuit? By being sympathetic to that lawsuit, you are straight up admitting that, yes, that there's rampant racist hiring practices in the NFL, and we got to do better, and we got to get better with that. Okay, then why are you selectively targeting Gruden? Why does Gruden deserve to be completely canceled when you're admitting that there is rampant racist hiring practices in the NFL? Shouldn't you worry about getting rid of all that, too, as well? Why is it just John Gruden? And the NFL is scared, and that's why they want to push this into arbitration. They, they had this motion to dismiss this lawsuit, and they also have a motion to push it into arbitration, and they want to push it into arbitration under the NFL Constitution. They want to have control of this. You want to know what happens whenever we have investigations done by the NFL? Uh, nothing bad happens to the NFL, right? That's exactly why they're pushing for this, man. So it's going to be just like the Washington football team investigation. Oh, you're going to run the investigation, and we're going to expect you to report the findings, right? No, no, no. And so Gruden's saying, hell no to that. He is currently not an employee of the NFL, and if you had this arbitration going, under the NFL Constitution, that would give Goodell ultimate power and control of it. And he is the person being sued. The lawsuit by John Gruden specifically names Roger Goodell. Never forget that. Goodell is not going to want to hear this lawsuit out. He's not going to treat it the same way he treats Brian Flores' lawsuit, where he's sympathetic to it and agrees with it. Hell no, because he knows he's caught red-handed here, and he doesn't want this to get out at all. So expect him to try to push John Gruden to settle. But April 13th, either way, we're going to know what's going to happen here. The court in Nevada is going to decide whether or not they're going to keep this lawsuit going or they're going to dismiss it. Or perhaps they'll push it into arbitration. We don't know, but I hope, man. I hope this thing drags out longer. I hope Gruden does not settle with the NFL. I hope he keeps on fighting. And I think he is determined to fight. 
Gruden just sold his house in Nevada for $7.5 million. Fat mansion, bought it for four, made a bunch of money off of it. Gruden has a lot of cash flow. And I know he wants to get some cash out of this lawsuit, but I truly believe from following this thing the whole time that John Gruden wants a little something more than some cash. John Gruden wants to stick it to the NFL, but more, more than anything, he wants to stick it to specifically Roger Goodell. And hey, Roger Goodell has a contract too. He gets paid a pretty hefty amount of money and he is actually coming up under contract. He needs to resign his contract as commissioner with the NFL. He's going to be expecting a big payday, but if he has all this dirt on his hands, maybe the NFL will look for a new commissioner. The owners in the league do like Roger Goodell as commissioner, but if you have a new one, I bet he'll be cheaper than Roger Goodell is going to ask for. We have consistently followed the John Gruden lawsuit against the NFL and his cancellation back from October 2021. We were actually the only Raiders channel that stood by John Gruden and said this was unfair, this was not right. And you could check out the playlist right here that shows all of the videos we've ever done on John Gruden. So either way, we'll see what happens with this lawsuit. We'll keep you up to date on it. This is Wi-Fi Willie of the Raiders Rundown. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.